um, it's my pleasure to welcome you to this event this afternoon. Um, for me, this is a really important, almost seminal moment for us in terms of Parapetia and the future and where we're going. So in this room, we've got senior leaders across all sectors, and it's really great to see your commitment by turning up here today and starting on this journey, which I, um, I hope we can commit to. So I was given the task of saying, why are we here and the aim for the day? And that's really easy when you read it on a piece of paper, but it's really difficult when you come to write the words to say, how do I say why we're here today? But for me, I think we're here because across all sectors, we're facing increasing demand for our services and, um, and on our resources. Our inequalities are increasing. That's really been exacerbated by COVID, by the cost of living increase uh, prices. And we had a cost of living summit yesterday, and generally we concluded that actually we're almost past the crisis now. Actually, the cost of living impacts are kind of normalising, which is an awful thing to say, but we're, but we're having to live with that, and it's part of our day to day. And with reducing resources, inevitably we focus on the crisis. That's where our resources go. We're dealing with the emergencies. Um, and, and prevention, which we all know is really important, inevitably loses out. And continuing to operate in that way, um, in the way that we've done, is just not going to work going forward. We'll be constantly running to catch up. I think we already are, bluntly, but it will become even worse. Um, we'll be delivering responses to acute problems in the short term, um, rather than focused on root causes, which gen of what generate them in the first place. I think we all want to do prevention, but we just don't often get that headroom. And bluntly, I don't think we can afford not to do it. So the thinking around community paradigm, and genuinely, the inner child in me wants to say paradigm, but I've gone past that now. It's okay. Um, it moves us into a different approach, an approach which really maximises the power of communities and the community and voluntary sector to act differently and for us all to act differently. And in Herefordshire, I think we've got a really strong starting point. We have strong communities, we have a rich and diverse community and voluntary sector, and we have leaders in that sector and leaders in all of our sectors that actually want to do something different, that want to work together, that we're all equals delivering to our residents. As colleagues will testify, and they will all say, I've bored and rigid with this. I'm a passionate advocate for communities, for resilient communities, and I'm a passionate advocate for prevention. When community paradigm, I yeah, said it right that time, was first talked about, I was a bit, I won't say sceptical, but was this a new bright, shiny thing? Was it a change that wasn't necessarily going to have a tangible difference? And on the tables, there's the paper from New Local, and it was sent out with the invite. And this table that's in there, for me, really started to bring things together. It started to talk about something that could be a revolution, actually is something of an evolution. It's a revolutionary approach, but it's an evolution from where we've come, and we build on what we've done. And as I said, I think Herefordshire has all the building blocks to move, to move us into that paradigm. Mm. So why are we here? We're here to explore how we can start on that journey of evolution. We will hear from people far more skilled and far more articulate than me in terms of describing what that could look like and what we could achieve. And actually, there's space for us to work together to develop our understanding of the aim and hopefully, by the end of the day, commit to that journey. So, I... On the agenda, it said I was going to talk for a quarter of an hour. There is no way I was going to talk for a quarter of an hour. You'd be pleased to know, and I've not done that. So I want to move on to uh, the first of our keynote speakers, and I'm delighted to welcome Professor Donna Hall. As you've seen on the <coughs> agenda, and many of you will know, Donna was instrumental in developing the Wigan deal, which is where a lot of uh, this working in a different way with communities came from. And she's now the chair of New Local. So over to you, Donna. <coughs> 